My dear friends, my fellow believer, once again, we are on the air to offer you the gospel, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. In this present time, my dear friends, it's very, very important to understand how to walk with God on a daily basis. The topic of this morning, or, or today's day, is walking. With God. Enoch walked with God. But let's think about this morning and this present time in Ephesians 4, verse 1. Paul said, I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord. Beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called. In the scriptures, walk with God is a figure of a speech meaning the manner of life or how we conduct ourselves. The passage quoted above, Ephesians 4 1, means then, let our ways of life match up to what we claim to be. Our behavior gives witness to our profession. The Bible has so much to say about walking with God. The Bible telling me by faith Enoch was taken away so that he did not see death. And Enoch was not found because God has taken him. For before he was taken to heaven, he has his testimony that he pleased God. That's why in the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 5 and 6, say something that you have to think about it. He said, but without faith, it's impossible to please God. God. For he that come to God must believe that he is and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. What a, what a beautiful expression, no? What a beautiful expression. But without faith, it's impossible. To please God. Let's open the Bible. Let's open the Bible this morning. In Hebrews 11. 1 to 13. We're going to read some or a few verses there. The Bible said this way. Now by faith. Or well, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtain a good testimony. By faith we understand that we that the world were framed by the word of God. So that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. By faith, 
Abel offered to God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, through which he obtained witness that he was righteous. God testifying of his gift, and through it, he being dead, still speaks. By faith, Enoch was taken away so that he did not see death and was not found because God has taken him. For before he was taken, he had his testimony that he pleased God. But without faith, it's impossible to please God. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and, he, and that he is a reward of those who diligently seek him. By faith, Noah, being divinely warned of things not yet seen, moved with godly fear. Prepare an ark for the saving of his household by which he condemned the world and become thereof the righteousness which is according to faith. By faith Abraham obey when he was called to go out to place to the place which he would receive as an inheritance. And he went out. He went out, not knowing where he was going. This all die in faith. Not having received the promise, but having seen them afar off, were assured of them. Embrace them and confess that they were strangers and pilgrims and this earth. My dear friends, <clears throat> walking with God is the topic of this morning. Let's think about this morning. All together, Enoch lived a total of 365 years of age. But my friend, his testimony is this. Enoch walked faithfully with God in daily basis. Then, he was not more because God took him away, according to verse 5. And according to Genesis chapter 5, verse 23 and 24. What a wonderful thing. Let's observe something very important this morning. My dear friends, my fellow believer. I want you to observe. Something very special. Let's all together observe that not all the heroes of the faith believe that the result of their faith was physical victory. Let's think about that. All these people were still living by faith when they died. They, they did not receive the things promised. They only saw them and welcomed them from a distance, admitting that they were foreigners and strangers on this earth, according to verse 13. So, this is means, my friends, it means to all that living with confidence in Jesus Christ requires faith and actions. Let's think about James 
James 2.17. James 2.17 is said, even so, faith, if it has no work, is dead being alone. My dear friends, let me stretch myself telling you this morning, if you allow Him to lead you, if you allow God to lead you, your faith will grow in daily basis. Let's think about that. Let's, let's think about that. If you allow the Spirit of God to lead you, your faith will grow in an amazing way. Let's think about this. Many times we choose self-reliance over trusting God. How many can tell me today, Amen? How many Amen I can have today? Many times we choose self-reliance over trusting God. But following His guidance is a much better way to live in this present time, according to verse 1. Verse 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hope. For the evidence of things not seen, for by it the elders obtain a good testimony. My dear friends, it is the Lord's desire. It is the Lord's desire that we walk by faith. That is His desires. God's desire is that you and I we can learn how to walk by faith. In Romans, in the book of Romans 1.17 said, For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As is in writing, the just shall live by faith. Alone. Having your Bible in, in your hand, let's see a second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7 said, For we walk by faith, not by sight. Yes, yet if we consider our lives honestly. Let's think about it. If we consider our lives honestly, most of us will find a number of areas where we struggle to trust God. Sometimes we struggle to trust God. My friends, most of us will find a number of areas, areas, well, we struggle to trust God. Let's think about this, my friends. Some days it's easy to relinquish control. While other times we quickly take matters into our own hands. Let's think about your life. Let's think about my life. Sometimes we say, no, this time is going my way. But you have to learn that if it's not God's way, it's no way at all. Yet, if we consider our life, honestly, most of us will find a number of areas. In many cases in our lives where we struggle to, to trust Him, some days it's easy to give control to God, while other times we quickly take matters into our own hands. But my friends, 
God is merciful to us. God is merciful to us. Thankfully, our Heavenly Father is patient and loving God. His word clearly teach that sanctification is the process of making us holy. First Peter 1.16 said, Because it is in writing, Be holy, for I am holy. So let's think about that his words clearly teach us that uh, sanctification is the process of making us holy, not just the end result. Let, let me give you an example. Children. Children are a great illustration of how, let's think about, Let's think about all of this. Children are a great illustration of how this work. 1 Peter 2 2. 1 Peter 2 2. The Bible said, as newborn babes desire the pure milk of the world, that you might grow thereby. Children are the great illustration of how this works. When children learn to walk, remember? When children learn to walk, they start by pulling up on something, standing, and then taking a first step. <clears throat> Let's think about that, my friend. But it's something you cannot stop in, in this <clears throat> in, in this process. Children fall. They will fall, at which point we help them back up so that they can keep progressing. It's not true. Let's think about today about this. When somebody from your church leave church and you just let this person go and I said to go and reach him out and bring it back to church again. You see, children fall in which point we help them back so that they can keep progressing. Verse 8 said, <clears throat> By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to the place which he would receive as an inheritance. And he went out not knowing where he was going. Let's think about this, my friends. In the same way, God showed us how to live according to our faith on Him. But my friends, let's have in mind, we will make mistakes. We will make mistakes. If you see a, a brother or a sister in Christ making mistakes, and instead of a step on him, you should keep your hand reaching him out and bring him back to the church. Because that is our work. Because in the same way, God showed us how to live according to, to, to our faith on him. But we will make mistakes. Falling and getting up again is, is part of the learning process as a Christians. 
We're going to fall one day. When you see a Christian fall in a stir to step on him, you reach him out, give your hand, and help him to go up again. Look at what happened in, 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 in the book of the book of Peter. Thankfully, let me tell you this, this first. Thankfully, our Heavenly Father is patient and loving. Not just sometimes, but always is a loving care of a Father. And give all the examples of the children, that the children are a great illustration of how all of this works. I tell you, when children learn to walk, they start by pulling up and something standing and then taking a step. But my friends, it's normal. They fall. In which point, we help them back and so that they can keep progressing. The same way God showed us how to live according to our faith in Him. But we will make mistakes. And falling and getting up again are part of the learning process. Second Peter 3:18. <clears throat> Second Peter 3:18 says, For Christ also suffered once for sin, that the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the same in the flesh, but made alive by the spirit. Wow. My dear friends, let's think about this morning. Let's think about today. The Lord teach us that we also have a role. We are partaker in this journey as a Christian. Our responsibility is to study the scripture. Get to know God's nature and learn His promises because there is a lot of promises for every Christian, for everyone who accepts Jesus Christ as a Savior and Lord. Let's see the book of Acts 17, 11. Say, these were more noble than those in Thessalonica in that they received the word with all readings of mine and search the scripture daily. Say, and search the scripture daily. Whether those things were so. My dear friends, as we do these things, our confidence in God grows, enabling us to make choices, requiring us to believe in and learn and lean on Him. Look at this verse 7. Verse 7 said, By faith Noah, being divinely warned of things not yet see, move with godly fear. If we can start every morning with godly fear, our life will be much different. That's why as we do these things, our confidence in God grow, enabling us to make choices, requiring us to believe in and lean on God every day. When we step out in faith and experience Christ's provision and dependability, our trust grow. Our trust grow again, my friends. So, <clears throat> my dear friends, 
we can get this more uh, uh, today into conclusion. Into conclusion. Bible said by faith, Enoch was taken away so that he did not see dead and was not found because God has taken him. For before he was taken, he has his testimony that he pleased God. Wow. If every morning we wake up, and we walk with God on a daily basis. If we, at least we fear God in the morning and we start a, a new day walking with God. In conclusion, my friends, in conclusion, my dear friends, consider the response. I want you this day to think, Meditate. I have a question to ask you. Consider the responses, actions, and decisions that you have made in the past few days. Let's think about all the decisions you have made in the past few days. Think about for a minute. Now, let me ask you a question. How many of those were led by the Holy Spirit? Let's think about that. The question was, consider the response, action, and decision that you have made in the past few days. How many of those were led by the Holy Spirit? How many were human reactions done by or from self-reliance? Let's think about that, my friends. Living on the basis of trust in Christ Jesus required belief and action as you allow him to lead. Faith will grow. The Bible said, but without faith, it's impossible to please Him. For he that come to God must believe that He is, and that He is a reward of them who diligently seek Him. God bless you. God bless you, and I hope and I pray that from now on, we fear God and we start walking with God on a daily basis. God bless you, and God bless America. Because this America is the America of my dream. God bless you. Thanks. Thanks for allowing me to be here today preaching the gospel, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.